Hey and Happy New Year's! In this video, I will follow on from my previous video and show you yet another nice sensor card. This is a little more advanced, but if you're a little bit creative, it can do a lot of things. You will need to install button card from Hacks. Start by creating a grid card, two columns, render as squares off, add custom button card to it. Give it a name and an icon. For this card, you will need a sensor with a percent value. This could be battery state, or in my case, available storage space on an SD card. Add your sensor as an entity to the card. Then we can start styling. I'm actually just copying all the styling from the card we created in the previous video, because you know, let's make it look consistent and uniform. The only difference is that this card doesn't use the label. Then we can start creating the custom fields. This will be the most important part of this card. We need to create the field itself, but we also need to set up the styling for the custom field. The important code for this first field is width of 100% and height of 12px. To create the field, I first give it a name of bar. Then I add the usual three square brackets. Then I create a few variables. First one for color. I forgot a greater than sign after the field name. Then I want to put the entity state into a variable as well. I would like to have the bar in different colors depending on the state. So I create a if statement and set the color variable to red if the state is greater than 75. If it's greater than 50, it's orange. Then I type return followed by two backticks. First, create a div, then a closing div. Then inside of those, create another div with a style attribute. Remember to close this div as well. In the styling type background colon, then add a dollar sign, squiggly brackets, and write color inside the brackets. This is a reference to our color variable. Then you need to close it with a semicolon. Then add height colon 12 px semicolon. Then add width, colon, dollar sign, squiggly brackets, and type state inside the brackets. Then something I missed earlier. We actually have to add the grid styling for the bar to show up. So add grid template areas with the value of IN bar. Something else I forgot was to add a percent sign after the state ending squiggly bracket. And you can see that the bar is working correctly after adding that. Then I add three more custom fields. These will be text displaying the used space, the available space, and the total space on the SD card. These are pretty simple. I am just displaying a few sensor states. For the last one, I'm just typing in the size of the SD card. Then I'm just adding GB to the end of each of these custom fields. They are all bundled together, so we need to update the grid with a fourth row. Here you should write state one, state two, state three. Because of this, we need to write bar, N and I three times, so that they span the three columns we just created. Then we can style these three custom fields. They will all be similar, but I want them positioned correctly. I use justify self to position the first one to start, the second to center, and the third one to end. Then I give them a small font size and slight transparency. They are still not positioned like I want, so we need to adjust the size of the grid cells. I make all the columns the same size. Then I play around with some padding to give everything a little more space. When looking for an error earlier, I changed the background color of the bar, so I'm just changing that back to the color variable. To finish off the card, we should also find some nicer colors. Using colorhunt.co, I could easily find a nice blue, orange, and red color. Then I'm just pasting in those colors into the code. If you want to test the card without copying a bunch of files to the SD card, you could go into the developer tools and find your sensor. When you click on it, you could temporarily adjust the value and that way see how the card behaves. And that concludes this video. Hope that you find it useful or that you learned something. I use this and variations of it throughout my dashboard. As always, the full code can be found on the Gumroad link in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time.